how's it going? It's Callie T here and welcome to my kitchen. In this segment, I'll be showing you how to make food shown in anime. On today's menu, our item is what I consider to be a universal good. I mean, come on, who doesn't like pizza? If you don't, can you be trusted? Especially if it's from the insanely popular blockbuster anime, Kimi no Nawa, aka Your Name. I went to its world premiere at Anime Expo and I recently saw it again in theaters just so I could bask in its story again, I'll bet with a more critical eye. Luckily, there was a theater near me showing it. But even so, it's still an absolute masterpiece and a joy to watch. And if it's near a theater near you and you haven't seen it yet, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And I mean, can you really be trusted? Anyways, today's pizza is a margarita pizza, and I'll be making it from scratch. But don't be afraid of making the dough, it's actually really, really simple. And the result is a delicious, mouth-watering pizza. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the ingredients you will need to make this cosmic pizza are tomato sauce. You can use whatever kind you want. I'm just sticking with tomato basil, salt, olive oil, pizza flour. There are many different brands of this. The one I'm using is called Red Hill and the yeast packet is included. Fresh mozzarella, basil, cherry tomatoes, parmesan cheese, and if you so desire but totally optional, an all-purpose flour to roll your dough in. But before we start cooking anything, you better wash those hands because you do not want your pizza to taste like it's been from Tokyo to Itomori and back. We shall begin by working on the dough. First, grab yourself a measuring cup and place one and a half cups of water into it. Once that's done, you're going to add in your packet of yeast, which should be the standard amount of seven grams, into the water and give it a whirl until thoroughly combined. And as soon as you're finished with that, you're going to leave it alone for five minutes while it does its yeast thing. Now add in two tablespoons of olive oil to the measuring cup and stir it around for one minute. Next you're going to want to switch your measuring cup for a bowl and add in your entire packet of pizza crust flour. Then add in your yeast mixture and start mixing away. Once the dough becomes like this consistency, you may want to dust your hands with some flour and then begin to start kneading the dough. Don't forget, you're making pizza, so have fun with it! And now, like a comet splitting apart, go ahead and separate it into two equal portions. Then, with a warm, damp towel or a plastic wrap, cover your bowl. We are making sure that the bread doesn't dry out and that all the moisture is still inside. Now, just let the bread rest for an hour and a half. In the meantime, I guess you could weave threads together or draw a picture or play Persona 5. You know, things to consider. <laughs> and as you can see, the dough has risen to the point where it's just about the same size as when they were together. Now is a good time to preheat your oven. The temperature really depends on what type of dough you are using. I'm just following the packet recommendation of 425 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, bring out your cutting board, sprinkle some flour on top, and place your dough on top. Then begin to flatten out your dough. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can just use your hands to flatten the dough. Once you are done with that, bring out a cookie sheet and carefully slide your flattened pizza dough onto it. Now, with your fingertips, go full circle indenting the dough and squishing the outside together to create the outer crust. Next, following my packet instructions, I'll be putting the dough in the oven with no toppings for seven minutes. So while that's going, let's work on the tomatoes. Get your cutting board and bring out your lovely tomatoes and slice them up into halves. Easy peasy! Then, once the seven minutes are up, bring back out the pizza crust so we can finally put the toppings on. Begin with your tomato sauce of choice, starting from the center and spiraling it outwards. You don't need to go crazy with the sauce here, just enough to coat the top layer. Now drizzle on a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle a little bit of salt on it as well. Next coat the above layer with parmesan cheese, and then above the parmesan with fresh mozzarella. Mine was pre-sliced. Now add your tomatoes with the inside facing up. After that, place your newly topped pizza into the oven for around 12 to 15 minutes or until you notice the crust turning golden brown. Then 
And once that's done, carefully remove your very hot pizza from the oven and place it onto a plate. And lastly, we're going to add the basil topping. We're adding this topping on last because we wouldn't want the basil to be burnt to a crisp. And then finally, ta-da! Your margarita pizza is complete. Legend says that if you eat this pizza with the one you like, your lives will be intertwined forever. Just kidding, they don't actually say that. But who knows, maybe you'll connect with someone just by eating pizza. Just promise me you won't ruin the magic of pizza by adding in a toothpick. I think Taki's restaurant would approve, but let's see what my sister thinks. So, what do you think? I think it looks delicious. Even though I don't like tomatoes. Can I take this toothpick out? No, I wanted to stab you with it. I'm taking it out. Mm. You look good. And that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate it, as always. If you have any other anime or video game recipes that you would like me to try, please let me know in the comment section below and I can see if I can do them. And stay tuned for more anime app stuff coming your way. And if you decide to make this recipe, I'd love to see how it turned out. So if you put it on either like Twitter or Instagram, hashtag it with Will Cook and I'll definitely check it out. And hey, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like and subscribe button. And that's it for me. Thank you again for sharing a part of your day with me. And I hope the rest of your day is special. Until next time. Send, send, send. I don't know the words, but it's a cool song. Da, 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 da.